Hey, what's good everybody? I am Jay Diggs here with Mixwave and in this video I'm going to show you how to separately route our contact drum instruments in Ableton Live. Let's go! Alright guys, here we are in Ableton Live. We want to be on our MIDI track and we're going to go to our browser and load contact. Now, you want to be able to see your output configuration. In order to be able to see this, you want to hit this button right here. It may look like this for you, but then you want to hit this, hit outputs, outputs will pop right up. Now, we want to set this configuration before we load our plugin. Some DAWs will let you use mono outs, but in the case of Ableton, it's much easier to just go with the stereo outputs. It's much simpler. It's going to save you a lot of headache. All right. What we're going to do is hit the plus button right here. I want to make eight stereo channels. So for quantity, I'm going to hit eight and leave the number of channels at two for stereo. And what you're going to do is under host output, you're going to hit the first one, stereo one. Now you also want to hit delete existing channels before creating new ones. That's going to delete this one right here and hit okay. All right, now you can see that we have all eight of our stereo channels. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and name these. So since we're doing a drum kit, I'm gonna name this first one kits because I wanna leave all of the kit sounds like the room and the overheads coming out of the first channel. I'm gonna name the second one kick. We'll name this one snare and we'll do hat. And for time purposes, I won't do all of them, but you can go ahead and name them all accordingly. Now, this is very important. What we want to do now is we want to save this as the default. So we're going to go here to presets. We're going to save current output section state as default. Um, you can choose whichever one. All formats is easier. Just do all formats. And now we're going to close the plugin and reload it. Boom. So I've just reloaded contact. And as you can see, all of our outputs are still there. And this will make it easier when we're assigning our drum kit. Now we're going to go ahead to Mixwave Thomas Pridgen drums. Let's load it up. And as you'll see, I'm going to play the drums here. Everything is just coming through the kit channel. And so let's fix that. So let's go to our drum mixer. Here we are. And so we're going to go to kick and we're going to change it right here. Assign it to the kick channel, snare to the snare channel. I'll jump over to our symbols and change the hat to hat. Now, you can still hear a little bit. That's the overheads in the room coming through the kit, but we've lost the main sound for our drums. And now we're going to do is jump over to the main view and create audio channels to route those sounds through. So here we are in our main view. We have our contact instrument channel, and then we have these two audio channels. And right here on the input routing, we're gonna change this. We can select contact. And then for the channels, as you can see, we have those stereo channels that we made. So we have kick. I want this to be the kick track. Now, you notice that you still don't hear it. Now you have to set the monitor to in. There we go. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and name this. And for our next channel, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna route this to contact. And for the input, we're gonna put this on snare. Turn the input on, monitor on. There we go. Now we have everything on a separate channel. You can go ahead and rename this as well. And let's go ahead and make a channel for our hi-hat. Change the input, the contact, the input channel to hat, in, boom. This is great. And now you can do all sorts of things. You can go ahead and start to add effects on there. Say you want to add a, let's say you want to put a limiter on just a kick track. There you go. And you still have your room mics and your overhead mics coming through the contact channel. And you can route those as well if you want to. But this gives you the flexibility and complete control over all the separate drums. All right guys, there you have it. Just a quick tutorial on how you separate your contact instrument drums to separate channels in Ableton Live. If this video helped you out, be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you have questions, leave a comment down below. We'll help you out. Until next time, I'm Jay, peace out.